A Missouri Western professor is breaking down former President Trump's indictment and what it means for the general public. Trump was indicted on 34 counts of business fraud, meaning he committed the same crime 34 different times. All counts are related to the same cases of hush money payments made during Trump's 2016 presidential campaign. Associate Professor of Political Science Edwin Taylor says the crime is not the payments, but the way these payments were covered up. At his court appearance Tuesday, Trump pleaded not guilty to all counts. These charges are typically misdemeanors, but Taylor says they will become a felony if intent of a secondary crime can be proven. The state has to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Donald Trump engaged in business fraud, and they have to demonstrate evidentially that that happened and that he did that with the intent, they knowingly, he did it knowingly and with the intent to do something else that was criminal. But again, the indictment is so vague, they don't really say what it is. If we care about our country, we need to care about law and we need to care that even the most powerful can be held accountable. Trump is continuing his 2024 presidential campaign and has received millions in support since the indictment. Taylor says this will make politics messy during the Republican primaries. The next hearing is currently set for December, but Taylor says there will be many challenges before heading to trial, such as finding a neutral jury. To read more about the challenges both sides will face in this case, visit NewsPressNow.com.